Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Probably not gonna be short. Uh, Kaiser actually sent me this round. They sent me eight knives and I decided to split it up into two videos. It'd just be too long to do eight knives in one video. Thanks so much to Kaiser for sending these in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me, there we go, on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, as per usual, by the time you guys are watching this, these will probably be available. So I will link them right down below so you guys can check them out if you want. Uh, it does help my channel when you use my links, but that is entirely up to you. We'll just start here on the left and go ahead and get into it. I didn't get them out of the white packaging because, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if I get all the way down to the box, it looks like I, I already unboxed them and I'm just pretending that I didn't. So, okay, that's different. Ooh, wait, are we gonna do some interesting Handle materials here. What do we have? Original. What does that say? Original Serap. Okay. You know what? Does it say down here what the materials are? Serape? Serap. Okay. Don't get on me if I mispronounce. It's the first time I've ever seen that word, right? <laughs> I do like the... the this is nice. Normally I don't get really like, oh wow, the packaging, right? Because it's not like I'm gonna EDC the packaging. Um, but you know, that's kind of nice to see. Um, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I do, uh, the more that I see this stuff, the more that I enjoy it. Sorry, there's something stuck in the zipper. It was the extra hardware. We will clean that up later. Um, the uh, So this is the Kaiser original, but we have it in this like multi-layered uh, G10, which is actually pretty cool. This is gonna appeal to some uh, people and not to others, but it's neat, right? I mean, we're, we're so used to getting a solid color. It's cool to have this multi-layered. I mean, the, the Kaiser original is um, one of, if not their best butt mock models. So this is, uh, this is a good idea just to mix it up and do something different. It appears to be otherwise Serape, Serape, I don't know. It appears to be otherwise the exact same thing. Uh, 154 CM, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Very cool. All right. I'm going to guess that there's going to be kind of a theme here. So let's, ouch. My fingers are still, I can't squeeze, you know, it sucks. It's uh, The cuts are right where I use my index finger and thumb to pinch, right? Yeah, it looks like they're, we're going to have kind of a theme here. Okay, so the next one is the mini bay. Okay, well, this is a knife that I have not handled yet. So that might be one that gets its own review. This, These are not reviews. If you're new to my channel... Uh, this is just, these are just unboxings and first impressions. Okay, we got a little tiny guy here. Come on now, come out. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, kind of neat, right? Little pill body, I mean, literally, the, uh, wait, how do you release this? Oh, it's a double detent, yeah. So it's a non-locking double detent flipper is what it is. You just put pressure on the spine. Okay. Always uh, curious when they put jimping on the back of blades like this because as soon as you bear down on it, it breaks the detent, right? You might be thinking, what is the purpose of that if it doesn't lock? Some people live in areas where you cannot carry locking folding knives, right? Oftentimes those same areas have laws, very strict laws on blade length. So a knife like this will solve the issue and still allow them to carry a utilitarian cutting apparatus. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, I like that uh, it's the same. I was kind of, I gotta be honest, I was kind of hoping that the colors would be in different orders, but I can understand, I mean, if they, I'm sorry, if the colors would be in different order, but I can kind of understand because they probably cut it all from the same block, right? So if they keep doing these, then every time they cut a new block, we'll see a new order of colors, right? Unless the company who makes it, if it isn't Kaiser, um, is just cutting it all from the same, right? If they if they cut it off, if they keep making the exact same block. All right, cool. Well, that one will get its own review. What's the steel on this? Probably also 154. Yeah. 
My guess is the prices on these will be very good. These are close to what I expect from Kaiser's Vanguard line, which is usually very well priced. So if you're interested in these, these will likely not be on the uh, the upper end of, you know, like what... They, they won't be expensive Kaisers is what I'm saying. Towser K... Ooh, cool. Yeah, the, the Towser K is awesome. Um, they do one of these. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I might have to keep one of these. <laughs> yeah. I love the Towser K. That's an awesome one. I gave the... Uh, I gave the last one I had away. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is an excellent. I love this one. Uh, very, very cool. It's so smooth, too. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's just great. Very, very good. Uh, Towser K, 154CM. This is the best looking one of the bunch. I just like the, uh, I don't know. I, I just like the profile of the Towser K, and it's got uh, the, the blade profile is also awesome for EDC, and it's a full size knife, right? Very cool. Uh, and then the last one, obviously, curious. That, God, there's just little screws everywhere. Um, the last one, obviously, very curious to see what the final knife in this little pack is. Seeing not a lot more of materials like this, like we see the multicolored micarta, right? But there's other companies doing similar things. Oh, the cormorant. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Very cool. I think the that's the one that people will argue is Kaiser's best um, button lock for sure. Does this come with extra scales? Or oh, is it like a key? Oh yeah, it's like a keychain and a bead. Okay, cool. Uh, give me a sec here. Give me a sec. There we go. This one's got a little bit, a little bit extra here on the back. We got some green because of how this ended here on the back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me see if I can. I can't I can't disengage with my right, <laughs> my right thumb. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. So these will all um, eventually be knives. Like, I'm, I'm still thinking about this one. But these will all likely be knives that I give away, right? So if you don't know, I usually do live streams on the weekends, right? Because these are... I'm not sponsored by some. There's people here recently confused, thinking that I'm sponsored by these companies who send me stuff. Now they just send me stuff. They have no control over what I say, right? That's why when you watch my reviews, even sometimes when it is a knife that is for free and sent to me by a company, sometimes I still tear it apart and give it a negative review. I am completely and totally free to say what I think and what I want to say, right? Um, and uh, that would be very different for somebody who is actually sponsored by these companies. Now, Kaiser and other companies that are you know similar doing the same thing, they send me stuff for me to review, and they say, say whatever you want, do whatever you want with it, right? So I do, uh, because I can. It's much more beneficial to my viewing audience if I'm saying exactly what I'm thinking. Um, so uh, this will get a review, and I'm not sure the other ones, I mean, I've already reviewed them. They're very, they're very similar. To, the, the only difference that I can tell is maybe maybe the steel and the, the handle material, right? So the design itself. But I've never actually taken a look at this one. In any case, these will all likely be things that I give away on a live stream. So if you have any interest in that, make sure you're subscribed. And join us Fridays or sometimes Saturday evenings uh, when we do these events. But yeah, pretty cool. Definitely. Uh, I think this will, um, you know, be very interesting to people who like, you know, I mean... Like, like there are going to be people who are like, well, you know, that's that's a real problem, you know, if you're a professional ninja such as myself because you're easily spotted. Well, fortunately, the vast majority of us are not professional ninjas. We're not doing spy ops. We're not infiltrating a submarine, you know, in the dead of night in the ocean or whatever. We're not doing that, right? So it doesn't really matter, right, if somebody can see your – can identify you as a person because of the color of the handle on your pocket knife, right? So – for the vast majority of people who like color in their EDC, this might be kind of interesting. An inexpensive way to accomplish that. Pretty cool stuff. My favorite is definitely the Towser K, for sure. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you very much to Kaiser for sending these in for me to check out. Like I said, there will be links for these 
right down in the description if you want to check them out for yourselves. Where is my card? There it is. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.